AMA is a family-owned company with vast experience providing waste management services. We have a business unit that specializes in Marple Waste Management according to the International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships. We are offering this service at our plant located at the Port of Barcelona. Our state-of-the-art modular facilities cover a floor area of 18,000 meters squared and have the capacity to treat up to 165,000 metric tons per year of marble, hazardous and non-hazardous, solid and liquid waste. We have our own laboratory and the following treatment lines. Hydrocarbons, industrial water, stabilization and inertization, a hazardous and non-hazardous sand dutch waste recovery and transfer center. We offer a wide range of services from transport and storage at our plant to the treatment, recovery and elimination of waste. We have our own shore and sea fleet, including two barges, Jack Uno for the management of Marple 1 and Jack Dos for the management of Marple 5. We provide support to customers of Marple Waste, ship owners, cruise ship consignees, merchant vessels and ferries in the management of their waste. We also serve shipping companies and port terminals. We also manage biomedical waste and medicines. We undertake the certified confidential destruction of materials and information under customs management, and we produce and sell TMA fuel oil as a product recovered from the treatment of Marple One waste. Now I'm going to explain the processing and treatment of Marple One. More specifically, service provided to the Aida Cosma cruise ship. TMA collects oily waters through tanker trucks on land and by barge at sea. We then transport the liquid waste to our plant located inside the port where treatment begins. Marple 1 is composed mainly of water, hydrocarbon, and sludge. The plant process begins in the settling shore tanks where phases are separated by their difference in density. The sludge falls to the bottom of the tank and the water remains in the middle phase and the hydrocarbon remains on the surface as it has a lower density than water. After that, the free water is sent to our treatment plant where a physical, chemical, biological treatment is applied. The fuel phase is sent to our centrifugation and purification center, obtaining a quality fuel that can be sold on the market. We therefore recover the original material as part of the circular economy. Finally, all the sludge generated is dried. Once the dehydrated sludge is obtained, then we analyze it in our laboratory and, if the results are favorable and it's considered non-hazardous, it's sent to its final destination. If the sludge is considered hazardous, a final treatment is applied by adding lime, sand and cement to eliminate its pollutant load. TMA also manages waste classified as Marple 5. This service can also be offered on shore and at sea by truck or barge. For the collection of palletized waste from ships, TMA has a forklift service that optimizes the service and reduces operating times. Once all the waste, hazardous and non-hazardous, has been collected, it is sent to our plant where we separate it according to the type of waste, recycling as much as possible. As part of our zero waste philosophy and in line with the principles of the circular economy, we are also involved in projects to recycle potentially recoverable Marple 5 waste like plastic, paper, cardboard, or glass, for example. We also have a hazardous and non-hazardous waste recovery and transfer center, which enables us to offer a comprehensive service for protection from the waste generated by COVID-19. In the last part of the process, we transfer any waste that could not be recovered to our controlled landfills, therefore managing the waste entirely in company without third parties involved in the process. This enables us to offer complete waste traceability, ensuring the customer that their waste has been treated in the best possible way.